Thetford C2 toilet flush had an intermittent fault eventually it stopped working altogether went online and found a couple of very old but good posts with photos thousand words and it helped me so much I'm trying, going to try and update them and put them online the post can be found on ukcampsites.co.uk caravan repairs both by Flogit so I've started, I've removed cap from here the long screw that's in the base of that I removed the toilet holder um, I put some WD around that and it managed these out revealing the pump located just inside here held by one screw and this little shoulder piece there was also about 400 meters of a uh, 400 millimeters of cable on the end of it which I've pushed through to the other side if you get your hand in you can just about feel the, the rubber gommet it goes through it's very tight so main culprit our main suspect I should say there's a switch on the wall in here under the floor there's a, about an 18 inch deep shower basin attached to that switch was this pump and a hose I guess to feed the water into the waste although there is a plug in it but anyway this pump and the switch works so I've wired up that pump directly to the switch main culprit or suspect exonerated so now I think we'll head outside this is the cable I pulled through um, I soaked it up, it's quite tight I don't know if you can see the band there, about 10mm that's what was showing through it wasn't easy, I hauled on it down enough to get it out enough to to follow the feed up and get long nose pliers on it and pull it a bit further and then get my fist around it anyway the, the shrink wrap idea the flog this isn't that bad but it's let me work on it here and wire it up my next plan is to run a cable from the switch direct to it and use the switch as my on off for the flush for the time being right another post suggested a mirror without a mirror you see nothing, absolutely essential. I don't know if you'll see anything if I drag this along like that on the camera. But uh, that's how it's done. And don't ask about that. Uh, but it will reveal this located totally up inside, totally out of sight. And the mirror will show you four locating screws. That's one of the screws, plus the top one you took out. When I'm looking at this, there's a fuse here, a glass fuse here, and where is it? It's just under here, a little micro switch. Suspect number two. So I thought, until it threw me a curveball. So I'm going to go indoors now and look at this and show you the curveball. Okay, I think I mentioned this is slightly different from the online photos. Yeah, my motorhome's a 1990 Heimer Ariba car. And from what I've gleaned online, this is from 1990 to 94. And in 94 it changed slightly. There's a spring in this area, not here. And a bayonet fuse located on the side, rather than the glass fuse located in here. Anyway, the curveball was, when I was playing about with the mechanism, this fell out. I saw it located underneath here. Uh, but, when I took this off, I could not, can't see how it's held in place. But, another micro switch. And I know it's its location because I can see where it's been rubbing on the underside. The marks are there where it's when you depress and twist. So I took the micro switch out and looked at it and there's a hole here and a hole here just like, I don't know if you see it, just like a watch band. So, 
So I'm going to see if I can put that paper clip here. I managed it before. Um, there you go. Paper clip through there. Now, I don't know if that's what how it's held in place. It seems a bit sugary to me. But I'll put it back together and I'll put it work on and it does kind of work. But there may be some other way of holding it more. Anyway. No matter what if if this is if that is how it's held by a pin and a pin is working loose. It's a recipe for an intermittent fall. It's going to be followed by the full boomer. Okay, so if you're in looking for an intermittent fall, it's £15 for a micro switch at the other end, £40 for the whole unit. And if you're having it, I would check this area before, before making a decision on it. As I have never found the need to use the shower pump, I've taken it away and wired the toilet pump direct to the switch. And that may remain as my solution. Sayonara.